Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is going to be split into two parts. I was going to do it in one part, but it just got to be uh, too big, so it's going to be two parts. So here we go. This is part one. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And so we're creating system of linear equations given tables and given graphs and all that stuff. In, in this lesson, though, our goal is to get our uh, equations in the form of y equals mx plus b. m is our slope or our rate of change. So when we're looking in the word problems, look for the word per. Per is our going to give us our slope, is our rate of change. And the b part is our, our, our initial uh, point or our starting point or our initial membership fee or our initial sign up for cable television or whatever. So those are our b's right there. So Let's get started. Determine uh, when the cost of the two services will be the same amount and what will the price be. All right, so here we go. John's video streaming charges $10 for a membership fee. There's our B. And $1 for each movie download. Bob's Marvelous uh, Movies charges $15 for our membership fee and $0.50 cents per movie download. Okay, so there's the word per, there's our slope, there's our B right there. So how many movies will each uh, uh, will we need to download for the services to have the identical cost? And what will the, the costs be? All right, so here X is the number of movies that are being downloaded. Let's just slide that problem up right there. Okay, so let's identify the important part. So John's, uh, that's my fireplace popping in the background. It's a cold winter night right now, so it's in the low 30s where I am in California, Sacramento. Anyway, um, so John's uh, initial membership fee is that uh, right there, 10 bucks, and then it's uh, it's one dollar per download right there, and Bob's is 15 bucks and 50 cents per download. So those are those are our MX plus B's right here. Here's our MX plus B. Here's our MX plus B right there. So our functions, our J of X are X plus 10 or 1X plus 10, and B of X is 0.5X plus uh, 15. So 0.5X plus 15. 1x plus 10. Okay, you guys got that right there? All right, so here's the models for our, our thing right here. So they'll be identical when they're equal to each other. So let's go ahead and solve for x, and uh, we subtract 10 from both sides and subtract 0.5x from both sides. Then divide by 0.5, we get x equals 10. Remember, it's the number of movies, so after 10 movies, and then we got to figure out the price right there. I just plugged in 10 right there. 10 plus 10 is 20 bucks. So the cost will be 20 bucks when 10 movies are downloaded, okay? So, um, uh, so here's the just that word problem right there. So uh, they ask a couple of questions. So John's video uh, uh, streaming is more affordable for customers who download, okay? Well, his is only $10 to start up, and Bob's is $15 to start up, but uh, John's downloads is $1 per download, and Bob's is $0.50 cents per download. So John's will be more affordable when it's less than 10, and then uh, because they're going to be equal at 10, and then Bob's will be more affordable when it's greater than 10 or more than 10 right there. All right, okay, here's another problem. Same setup, you guys. Uh, one cable TV provider has a $60 setup fee. There's our B, and it charges $80 per per month. There's our M. And another cable company is 160 equipment fee and charges $70 per month. When will the charges be the same and how much will the charges be? Okay, so there's our MX plus Y equals MX plus B and there's our other Y equals MX plus B. So X is the number of months and F of X and G of X are the cost right there. So we go ahead and set those equal to each other and then solve. So we get uh, X equals 10 right there. Plug in 10. I think I plugged it into this one right here. So 80 times 10 is 800. 800 plus 60 is 860 right there. So both companies will charge $860 after 10 months. Isn't that a lot uh, for TV services, you guys? Well, that's a real problem right there. So um, real life problem anyways, that, uh, but they charge a lot. Anyway, so uh, use the cost tables for the two services to create a linear system of equations and then solve the system to determine when the cost of the two services will be equal. Okay, then they give us a table right here. So here's a table right here. And then uh, the two uh, garden companies, supplies companies, delivers mulch. So here's Fields Landscaping. They charge this much for how many cubic yards. And Perfect Yards charges this much for how many cubic yards. So can you see these ordered pairs right here, you guys? 1, 60, 2, 90. 
and then this 3, 120, 4, 150, and then there's some more ordered pairs. 1, 80, 2, 105, 3, 130, and 4, 155. Okay, we're going to use those ordered pairs to set up uh, linear equations. So on fields, we'll do 160 and 290. On perfect yards, we'll do 1, 80, and 2, 105. Okay, let's find the slope of both those guys. So there's the slopes right there. And then y minus y sub 1 equals uh, your slope times x minus x sub 1. So here's y minus y sub 1 uh, equals the slope times x minus this x sub 1 over here. y minus y sub 1 equals the slope times uh, the 25 times x minus x sub 1. Okay. Now, I'm going to slide it up. I'm going to distribute the 30 through and distribute the 25 through on this one and solve for y. Okay, so there we are. We get uh, y equals 30x plus 30, y equals 25x plus 55. There's our two equations. So we had to get the ordered pairs uh, from the, the chart right there and got the equation of the first one and used the ordered pairs from the next one and got the equation of the second one. Okay, don't worry, we have another one just like this, you guys. Now we've got to set them equal to each other, so we want to know when are they going to be equal prices. So when we set those equal, at x equals 5, so 5 cubic yards, and the price is going to be 180 bucks. So I just plugged in 5 back up at right here. So uh, 3 times 5 is uh, 150 plus 30 is 180. You could have plugged in 5 right there. 25 times 5 is 125. 125 plus 55 is also 180. Well, that's when they're going to be equal to each other. So, so both companies will charge 180 bucks for 5 cubic yards of moles. Let's try another one, you guys, just like that. Okay, so this table shows canoe rentals for prices for two companies. Now, I should have uh, laid, made this T or X right here, but they have it T, but in my equation I have X. So T is our X on this one right here. Okay, so do you see the order pairs? 1, 14, 2, 19. And do you see the other order pairs? 1, 20 and 2, 23. Well, we're going to use those to do the same thing. So there's the slope. So... Uh, of the 114 and the 219, we get a slope of 5. And of the 120 and 223, we get a slope of 3. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So there's our two equations right there. And then we set them equal to each other, and we get X equals 4. And then we plug in X equals 4, and we get 29 bucks. Uh, so, so both companies will charge $29 for four hours of canoe rental on that. Okay, this is a good stopping point right here, so I'm going to go ahead and assign that if you're in my class. Take care.